but there was someone who killed them. Hi, sorry, I'm going to bring it back just to the last few topics. I just still have a question. Um, so my colleague asked the first initial question about we're a small um, startup company and we're looking to scale up our very manual process. Uh, at the moment, we are using almost like a sneeze guard system like you mentioned earlier. Um, we're looking into ORABs and isolators and that's basically why our company sent us to you know, try to find out this information of what we require. But a company with a manual process, how do we go about scaling that up to being in an isolator or an ORAP system? Would you first uh, really look at your manufacturing processes and change that to be more of a automated system? Or is it possible to do some of these more manual steps in an isolator? So definitely start with your process and have a look at what the critical steps are. So especially if you start to lay out what the steps are, what the critical process parameters are, and then you can start to gauge what equipment you'll need, and then that builds your whole validation plan as well. Yeah, I, I think to that, um, I think you know for small companies, um, I think it, it's. The question is when is the right time to move to isolators or various systems from manual uh, operations? And then there are a lot of you know um, companies who are looking for various <coughs> systems, but like as you mentioned, like it's sometimes uh, not cheap option uh, for small companies, and like upfront investment is not like small. So I think you need to foresee some futures of your product, and then you need to move on to the isolator because you cannot. You know, invest a lot in the product. You might not, it might not work in the end. So, um, what I see in Japan is, um, so like usually, the like companies move to uh, isolators when they are moving moving to like uh, phase two to phase three. So those are uh, typical like discussion we have because we they know like what the what their process <coughs> is like. Uh, it's gonna be in the uh, mass production. So uh, I think the timing is also an issue uh, when you think about like, moving to these leaders. But I think your question was also was scale up, yeah? that you say you, you want to go from a manual process maybe then to a semi-automated or automated process, which is yeah, something you have to think about already. I'm sure you can buy, like, let's say, several filling lines, what you wouldn't like to do, but I guess the most easiest way that you estimate where you want to go and that you already consider that in the what you want to select even when you run the line a little bit in a lower speed or in a shorter time to scale up this. 